One month ago, I had a new Dreamy L20 Ultra robot vacuum installed and it's not your usual robot that just vacuums and mops. This has a direct connection to the water pipes which means it will automatically fill up the water tank through the water inlet pipe and also automatically drain out the filtered water from the outlet pipe to the drain. Now this is a huge feature for me because I run the robot two times a day for seven zones at my new place and I like to re-wash the mop pad before mopping the next zone. So this process naturally requires a lot more clean water. So just imagine I have to refill it two times a day and throw out the dirty water two times a day. It's not a lot of work but a hassle to do it before I could use it. So the water pipes connection looks complicated to do but if you don't know how, you could always pay an add-on fee and Dreamy will make the arrangement for you. Note that you need to place the robot near a power point, a water inlet and the drainage. And I'm so impressed by the suction power, I mean it's 7000 pa. That's a lot of power to pick up dirt on hard floors and one of the highest suction powers I've seen in robot vacuums. I mean, we used to have 2000 pa and it was working fine, but now it is three times stronger. Well, there isn't any dirt that couldn't be picked up with this robot and it saves a lot of time vacuuming and mopping at the same time. To me, the floor feels really clean and it's hard to find anything to complain about. And on the app, you have two ways to start a clean up through the Clean Genius which will focus cleaning in areas that are more dirty and repeat cleaning as needed. Now this is all automatic AI. Personally, I don't use this mode because it is too detailed, takes up more time and I don't like the suction power to fluctuate. It can be a little noisy to endure. So I prefer the customized cleaning with a consistent suction power and I realized only in customized mode you could change to rinse the mop pad by zones but not in clean genius mode. Another feature that is new is when it gets really close to the edges, it will swing out the mop pad as close as 2mm away from the wall. This is a good improvement because in the past, the robots go too near to the wall, it will scratch and leave a mark. Also in the app, you can set how often you want it to clean the edges. For the rollers, it is the non-Bristol kind which is highly effective to me. I barely find anything stuck on it. It works very well on floorings and when it detects carpet, you could set it in the app to remove the mop pad at the base or lift up or avoid it. And inside the app, I've set the robot to go for a rinse by zone so it doesn't spread the dirt from one zone to another and it will return to the base, release a pool of water to rinse the mop pad and in the app, you could determine how dry you want the mop pad to be. It will spin away the excess water and mop the next zone. And after finishing the cleanup, it will return to base for a rinse and automatically dry the mop pad with hot air for 2 hours followed by emptying the dust box inside the robot to the base. For the dust bag in the base, it holds up to 75 days of dirt but I feel that this number will vary by the size of your home and if you have pets or not. Now the final step, it will refill the water tank in the robot automatically to be ready for the next clean up. Technically, it's full of automation but still requires some cleaning. Example, once a week. First, I would say is the base. Press the home button to remove the robot. Hold the home button for 3 seconds to release water into the base and use the brush provided to scrub. You can also remove the base plate to clean. Hold the home button again for 3 seconds to drain off the water. Press the home button again to bring back the robot to base. Next is the filter. For my home situation, it gets slimy really fast and I gotta clean it every week but on the app, it recommends to clean 30 days which isn't possible for me. I see it clogged and overflowing with dirt in about a week and the brush provider is too big. I find it quite hard to reach the corners of the filter so I use a toothbrush instead. The last part is to wipe down the sensors on the robot and check the rollers, take it out and wipe. And now I'm gonna share some feedbacks I have with the app, robot and consumables. And around the two weeks mark, I remember the water filter was heavily clogged but there was no indication from the app that it was overflowing with dirt and that didn't stop the robot from running. The robot itself, I feel that uh, it's sometimes mistaken dark spots as a dirty spot and it will turn on the suction boost. I saw it repeatedly clean under the TV console 
uh, with boost mode consecutively for five days. I hope they could do a software update, you know, for now to prevent that, I turn off the particle boost on the app. I do feel that it doesn't work well with a lightweight floor mat. Instead of avoiding it, it will just push it around. And also the dining area, it gets very lost around the chest. So to save time, I have to exclude the dining area from the daily cleanup. So for this area, I just have to use my own wet vacuum to mop. Consumables wise, the soap dispenser lasts around one month for me and on the app it says that I have used it for more than 120 runs partly due to testing work and a small bottle like this costs $29.90 No option to use a generic brand in... Um, I think it might clog the drainage pipings inside So as an alternative, I've tried mopping without soap and seems pretty clean to me And the mop pad looks quite worn out after 120 runs, its lifespan is down to 30% on the app and a new pair of mod pad costs 25. I would say the consumables here are definitely not cheap. So note that my feedbacks may be unique to my home situation and not to you, but all of that doesn't take away the convenience you get out of this robot. It's really beneficial for working parents and especially homeowners with bigger houses. You're gonna appreciate the automated base station, the amount of cleaning it takes away from you, and cutting down the daily maintenance to weekly cleaning of the accessories. And finally, the dream of running the robot as many times as you need to, even when you're on a vacation.